Hello to everybody watching this and today we're playing um game that I had for a long time but only recently got into it recently. But relatively. Uh Legend of Grimrock. It's an older game, but it's a pretty good game. It's Dungeons and Dragons based. And I really like it. It's like a Thunder Color type game, but I'm gonna go make some characters just real quick. See ya. Okay, so we have our four characters here. We have a Minotaur fighter, we have a Evening Rogue in the front, a uh, Lizard Man Rogue in the back, and an Insectoid Mage in the back as well. Let's start of the game. Mountain Grimrock. A tower inspired clouds, a weathered rock that has stood tall for ages longer than the history of man has been written. It is a desolate place that I only remember when things need to be discarded of uh, nature gun. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats towards the peak. The Count accuses them of terrible and treacherous deeds, but by the grace of, by the grace of the King, their crimes will be forgiven and taught no longer mark. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to, to live their lives in freedom. They are at the very top of the world below them, darkness and justice. Probably not, they're gonna die a lot in this game, kinda gets harder later on. Especially in the spider section. Legend of Grimrock. This is a pretty fun game that somebody like gifted me on a, on a whim, kind of. First we gotta find secret. There's a lot of tons of secrets in this game. Surprising amount. Crazy to find a button on the wall somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it is. Oh, there it is. It's right over here. Oh, wait one second. Wait a second. There we go. Okay. All right. Secret found. Once again. Again. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of weight. Okay. We got some boots. We got a shuriken. And I don't think anything else. I've beaten the first couple floors in this game a few times, but uh. I've never actually beaten this game, hopefully. Beat, beat it on uh, this playthrough. Choose your fate. Perish in the cell or pick up the torch. I don't know why they bother to do that. <laughs> why they bother to lock it if all you need to do is pick up the torch, but okay. Alright. Gotta check out like, every single wall for secrets. You collect all the torches. You can hold the torches. Okay, game obviously inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. I've been pretty big fan of Dungeons and Dragons for a while now. I've been playing it for a long time. Anything that resembles it is nice. I forgot to give people boots and stuff. Alright. Let's keep going. It's actually a weapon. Okay. This game's audio is also 
like really good the sound design you can hear the screams of the damned in the distance which is fun and other horrors at the beginning of this game really easy it's pretty hard later on and that's not too crazy but if we can beat this game um i wouldn't say no to um doing some custom maps because I, well, I've downloaded a lot of them. I've played through some. It'd be fun to play through some custom ones. Some uh, well-reviewed ones. I don't know if I'm willing to take a chance on one for, like, a recording. Alright. Put that in there. Is there any more stuff? I play very methodically in this game because you can easily miss secrets if you're not careful. There's so many secrets you can miss. I set that up. Alright. Yeah. I played the beginning of this game a lot. Like a lot of games, I played the beginning a lot. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't really beaten this game. Hopefully we'll be able to beat it uh, on recording. Alright. The key in there, the beginning is pretty... Uh, <laughs> Straightforward. Not too much going on. Did you know the basics? Press buttons. Fight up. Slimes. Not slimes. <laughs> um. Fight snails. Man. Really sucking at nobody's hidden at all. Boom, we got him. You can carry all the food. Alright, picked up throwing stuff. And we got some boots. Are they any better than the lacquer ones? Well, these are evasion. And these, you can have those. Is there anything else on the ground? There's a knife for her. And some leather pants. Alright, oops. This game also has like a map thing. You can write down notes and stuff, which I, I really like. I really like map systems. For some reason, in depth map systems, it's really weird. I like making markers and stuff. And a map, like a cool map system. As I said before, big D and D guy. I really like um, the Dragons. I've been playing for like years now. Yeah, I've been having a blast with it. I play with my friend mostly, my dad, and uh, we usually don't take it too seriously. Like that one. Oops! Oh my god. Um, usually like to have fun and they take it too seriously. It's just how we are. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's let's get back to the game. We got our first situation where the key isn't literally uh, five feet from the door, so we gotta investigate, try to find the key. Check literally every single wall surface for a button. Is that just how I am? I play very methodically. I like to find a good chunk of the secrets to get a loin cloth. I guess I can give it to him. Pass it down the road. Sandals. He can have those, I guess. It's not a total waste to give people in the back um, uh, armor in this game because you can get attacked from behind. And they can die pretty easily because you always put your wimpy primers in, in the back. As I said, we have played this game. I've been in this game a lot. I usually get to a sec certain section, get stuck. Hopefully, we can get past that in uh, this playthrough. It's not a very exciting game at first. It's just walk through dungeons. When I originally played this game. I was like a little kid, so. Uh, um, 
I didn't, I barely understood what was going on and the second I got to any semblance of difficulty. We're gonna fall down the pit, by the way. This is informing you. <laughs> I wanna say silent for the screaming sound effect, it's really good. Can't fly, but can. Oh, you can hear footsteps. And I rest for a little bit. Just take a little snooze. Rest up, get your health up. Alright. Got the key. Let's go. Yeah, as a kid, this game stumped me. At the earliest point, I wasn't really trying. I wasn't very invested in this game. I wasn't in the role playing games too much except for like World of Warcraft. Heal my sight. Go down the right path first. To check every single wall surface for secrets. There's some really good secrets in this game too. Like you can just miss some really powerful equipment if you're not careful. All right, hold the chain, chain, I chain. As I just said for some reason, and push people. The main antagonist. Game mushroom people. This is the beginning of this game. Alright, got him. Oh boy. Coming. Stab him, burn him. Stick him in a stew. Alright. That finishes him. Okay. Right there. There's gotta be more, right? Yeah, there's like a bunch in this room. Let's burn. Okay. Doing pretty well so far. Not gonna be saying that when we get to the spider section of the game. The spider section is infamous in this game and it lives up to infamous it is. Because it's insanity. Getting wizard man out of energy. Don't you hate it when your wizard man is too tired to cast his fireball spell? It sucks. Is this an ingredient? No, okay. Gotta watch out for those ingredients. Do one accidentally eat something that give you a health potion. Oh, there's a dude hiding back here. Get fire fire blaster. I'm not gonna stick with the legends because uh they like miss half the time. We're gonna probably go with swords. We got him. There's a gem in there, but how do we, how do we open the gate? Alright. Probably... <laughs> Levered. Can we... Oh. Oh. We're not sharing it at all. Is the game busted? Game bust. Uh oh. Okay. I don't know if I just broke the recording. Uh, I'm gonna save just in case. Um. This. Good name. Pull the lever. This is an ingredient. I don't, I don't think you can eat ingredients, actually. No, okay. Alright. Oh. Obvious secret switch here. Put that in the sand. Wow, look. Really hard to find a secret. How could I ever have found, found that? Wow. Give him all the ingredients. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Hello. Get some technical errors. Hopefully the recording didn't break. That would suck if it did. Right, let's jam in. <laughs> All right. Is this the snail room? Yep, it's the snail room. Okay, 
where are the snails? There's supposed to be snails in this section, yeah. Okay. Needs a loincloth. <laughs> I don't think anybody else wants a loincloth. Better club. Spasian, get that to her. There's a rock in the corner. Okay. I already know how to do fire burst. It would suck if I didn't, because the mage would literally be like useless. I just don't have spears yet. Casually, so, no, just throw that rock at him. Mm. All right. game, as I said, not very intensive. Pretty, pretty chill. Especially in crit later in the game. Mm. Pretty insane later. Mm. All right. Yeah. Don't know if that opens anything. I think it did. Didn't open anything in the random corner. Didn't open anything over here. No. No, it didn't. Okay. I don't know what the point of that switch is. We're gonna fall down the pit, by the way. <laughs> I always fall down pits in the game. Yeah, see, we would have missed a snail, buddy. We wouldn't have, have, we wouldn't have any fun. The snail, buddy. We didn't come back. Yeah. Dude, there's like a whole thing over here. Got a peasant's cap. Totally worth it. And a rock. Oh, torch is running out. Why did I give it to him? Torch. And go through the portal. My recommendation in this game is always fall down the pits. You never know when you might find something useful. This is like a whole secret. Like here we go, whoa! Well, secret area if you don't, um, pull on pits I forgot to rest. And we just encounter one of these guys. We didn't encounter one of these guys early on. I don't know what the point of that was. Backstab. Uh oh. It's doing it. It's doing the thing again. Is it, is it good? No, like it's having fun. Uh oh. The dying me game. The dying me. Oh. Ooh, we got a level. Get him a spear. Oh, the people in the back got a level. Screw the guys in the front. Um, just put more in fairy magic, I guess. We'll rest up. Just take a casual snooze in the middle of the dungeon. Yeah, I do it all the time too. In real life. Is it another floor already? end of this part here if this is like the end of the first floor. I don't know if it is quite yet. Alright. There's one over here. 
Wow, I am so smart. Wowie zowie pep. That's him. This magic staff is a powerful weapon when wielded by a potent mage. I can use that for spells instead of just his hand. Plus five energy. Doors of iron. Great rewards can be found behind these doors. To gain access, look carefully for small details and use your wits. Clearly, use a lot of wits there. Bloop. Alright. Restore life, touch to regain, and restore life. What do you know? Cloud, okay, that's, if that's the first floor, go ahead and save. That's gonna be the first part. Okay, we'll just name that. That. And I hope you guys enjoyed this part. A little bit short, but I'm a little bit nervous about the recording. And uh, if you liked this video for some reason, like the video, subscribe, ring the bell. And I hope.